channel trouble free in this video i'm going to explain you about data mining task primitives in the subject of data mining so far i explained about what are the data mining functionalities the classification of data mining systems and all so in this video basically what do you mean by data mining task primitives and what are the primitives you have and i'll explain about each and every primitive in detail okay so first of all before starting this i have started a new channel about study abroad content if you are having interest i'll give the link of the channel in the description you can watch the video so now let's see here a data mining task is represented in form of a data mining query okay so if you are performing any data mining task what do you mean by data mining task extracting the data right if in order to extract the data what you have to write you have to write a query like select or you have to write an insert query or update query whatever it is you have to write a query right so the data mining task is represented in form of a, any data mining task which you perform that will be represented in form of a data mining query okay and this data mining query will be defined in terms of a data mining task primitive okay so here this data mining task primitive what it will do it will allow the user to interactively communicate with the data mining system okay very simple so it with the help of these data mining task primitives the user can communicate with the data mining system interactively interactively means what two way communication the user will ask something the data mining system will display something based on what data mining system has displayed again the user will ask for some other thing like that okay and here we have five data mining task primitives okay if the answer is for short ma uh, short answer like if you get it for four marks or five marks in that case you can just try this head headings and leave if you are getting it for 10 marks you have to uh, you know explain each of them i'll tell you about each of them don't worry set of task relevant data to be mined so this will specify this primitive this first one will specify the portions of the data where the user is interested that is where the user is actually interested what is the part of the data that the user actually needs again let us go back to our uh, supermarket example oh sorry the pen is not starting problem maybe yeah supermarket okay so in supermarket if you want to buy fruits then what is your area of interest in the supermarket only fruits right not vegetables or not some other uh, staples pulses or some stationary items or whatever it is you will not go to all those places you will go near fruits you will buy fruits and you will come back so the same way set of task relevant data to be mined that is what is the user's interest what is the user's need that will be specified by this set of task relevant and it is also called as relevant attributes so what are called relevant attributes the data or the part of data which is in the interest of the user is also called as relevant attributes to this data mining task okay the first one is that next specifies the kind of knowledge to be mined so we have different types of knowledge right we have characterization we have discrimination we have association analysis we have correlation analysis what are all these things data mining functionalities i've explained about all these things in data mining functionalities right so all those will come under the knowledge that's all okay it is nothing but here specifies a kind of knowledge or in, in place of knowledge you can also write functionality okay it specifies a kind of functionality that has to be mined that is for this what you can give the explanation we have different data mining functionalities like so like you can write all the whatever you remember like characterization discrimination uh, correlation analysis outlier analysis cluster analysis we have so many functionalities among those functionalities which kind of functionality which functionality has to be mined that you can write in the explanation okay so simply it will specify the kind of functionality that has to be mined that is whether we have to select for outlier analysis or whether we have to select cluster analysis or whether we have to select what which kind of functionality that okay third the background knowledge to be used in the discovery process see what do you mean by background knowledge not only here 
anywhere background knowledge is very important if you are starting a new task then obviously background knowledge is very important suppose i i am now doing data mining playlist right so now if i have to do the data mining videos for me some background knowledge has to be there i must have already studied data mining somewhere right then only i can make videos so some background knowledge has to be there here also in order to do the knowledge discovery here you can write knowledge discovery or simply discovery your wish in order to do the knowledge discovery process some background knowledge about the domain is required that is you are doing knowledge discovery process in a uh, c programming domain or in a python domain or in some other domain then some background knowledge related to that domain is required okay and for this background uh, we will be using concept hierarchies concept hierarchies are used for discovering the background knowledge got it so after this we have the fourth one the interestingness measures and thresholds for pattern evaluation you know what is interestingness measures right how much interest the user is showing on that particular pattern or how much useful that particular pattern is to the user that is what means interestingness that is the useful the usefulness of the pattern to the user is called interestingness simply right so the interestingness measures and threshold so what do you mean by threshold suppose uh, if the rules or patterns whose interestingness measures are below the threshold value whose measures are below the threshold value those patterns will be considered as uninteresting got it those patterns are considered as uninteresting those patterns whose interestingness measures are greater than the threshold they only are considered as interesting patterns that is what you can write here next comes a fifth one the expected representation for visualizing and discovered patterns that is now you have discovered the patterns right so you have mined the data you spent lot of time and you got some patterns you discovered some patterns ultimately you arrived at some patterns then in that case what you what is important the representation the visualization of those patterns is important that is how you represent it or how you display it to the user how you represent it to the user is very important because the user has to understand it very clearly right and even you also have to understand it very clearly after you see it after two or three years right so the representation of the knowledge which you have discovered here knowledge is nothing but patterns the representation of the patterns that you have discovered got it is very important that has to be done very properly got it and that could be in terms of rules or it could be in terms of tables or patterns or it could be in terms of charts graphs pictures whatever it is however you want to represent it you can do that but that has to be understood to the user got it this is about the data mining task primitives we have five primitives so first of all the first one is set of task relevant data to be mined okay that is what data is actually needed specifies the kind of knowledge to be mined the background knowledge to be used in the discovery knowledge discovery process the interestingness measures and the representation of the patterns that you have discovered got it so these are all the five data mining task primitives i hope the video is clear for you it's more of theory oriented don't worry mm, try to understand so let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till the end